Oh. Wait, was he just sick? Oh my god, what? What? Um. Okay. Hello everybody and welcome back to what I think is part 12 of the Runaway Teen Challenge. Now we're going to jump straight into this one um, with me having to rectify myself on something. So I had a little look through the rules again because I wasn't quite sure and I wanted to tweak myself up on the, some things. And um, we're going to let her sleep through but she should not have any appliances. The rules do say, um, and this is 100% my fault as well, but the rules do state that she's only allowed to have appliances and electrical items once she has a structure, a house that consists of one bedroom, one bath and a kitchen, and it doesn't acknowledge the tiny home. So I am going to delete the cooker and the fridge and it is so sad oh i guess wait appliances i'm assuming that doesn't include i'm assuming that plumbing is different mm. that is a question isn't it um let's see maybe maybe to meet in the middle we will do this so she's still got the crap shower so we'll keep her with that um She's got her uh, pea bush <laughs> around the back there. So we'll have to keep roasting our fish on the campfire for now. But that is it. So now we can jump straight back into the part. So last time, Amber tried to throw a housewarming party and it did not go very well. Oh, I'm so sorry, girl. You've woken up hungry and your oven has been taken away from you. I'm sorry, but um, yeah, no, it's not happening. Last time... <laughs> <laughs> I'll eventually finish my sentence at some point. Um, we had a keg party and it was horrific. It was raining the whole time. Everyone was miserable. Um, as you know, that's a lie. Not everybody was miserable. Um, Kaylee and Alex came. Um, we did invite Colin and again, he never shows up. It wasn't a complete disaster, but it definitely wasn't the best thing in the world. We're gonna try and get a lot done today. We've got a lot of things to do. Obviously, it's just a general upkeep of uh, everything that we have here. I wish we had the option just to tend garden and we don't right she is still set up doing some gardening stuff for the minute so today we need to get up the money again because we do need to get a separate bedroom and then we can sort all this out and then she can actually have her appliances i definitely want to start working on some friendships i think it's time that maybe we try to make some contact with our sisters but obviously they are unaware of where we are right now um so i mean we could start edging on that one we've got um emma here and her other sister is casey and then lucas here um he, she doesn't really know lucas um all that much so i'm thinking that maybe we will start um do they need anything they're always full uh, irritated always i don't know how we calm them down I'm having such an issue with it. We've also got a rose plant now, which is very, very handy dandy, which is always good. We like that. Um, we want to get her skills up as well. Um, she needs, do we have a fish? We probably don't, do we? Because last time we were thinking that we weren't going to have to roast fish anymore, but that's fine. We'll get some money from this. We can breed that frog with a random frog. Great. Sure, we'll sell that. But she does need to come and catch herself some food, but she's not going to want to, is she? Um, actually, we have some money, so we can go and, oh, no, we can't. Are you going to come, are you coming here to work this? Oh, maybe she's coming here to work this. Are you? No. Disappointing, that's what you are. Oh, that's a bold choice, those glasses. Oh my goodness, I got myself into that lady's chest. Oh no, she's coming here to work it. Lovely. We would like to order some food. Um, oh, cheese, pizza. That's what I would order. That is definitely what I would order. Also, I really think that now we've got some money, we should start changing up her look because if she continues to kind of look like she's roughing it, people will get suspicious and be like, look, this girl's, you know, been chilling in the same clothes for a really long time. She's, you know, she's kind of squatting in this little house that's cropped up out of nowhere. We need to try and get in contact with her parents. They might try and alert the authorities. So I definitely think that we should give her a glow up at some point. Also, I mean, I'm quite 
surprised that she is doing so well for everything. I guess she is quite nice people, so her reputation would be good. Oh, yeah, responsibilities and great, but her manners are, like, way up there. That's good. Um, not that any of this really matters for this specific challenge. Who are you chatting to? Do not chat with Billy. We're right next to um, good old Jeffrey Langrab here. Um, uh, please don't speak with us, though. You, you can sit there as long as you don't speak with us, Jeffrey. Please. Yeah, that's fine. So you can chat with girls. Or you want... Who are you... Who are you texting? What are you doing? No, you're not allowed to text. Send a happy text. Um, no, 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 you're not allowed to use your phone. She's breaking the rules on her own. <laughs> I agree, Amber. It's a great day. Let's go out and enjoy the day. Oh, okay. All right. I didn't know this could happen autonomously. That's fine. Actually, we can do this. She's taking it upon herself. She's like, look, I know what I want. He wants to go to the teen park. Okay, it couldn't be more perfect, could it? Okay, I mean, yeah, sure. Why not? Not what I was planning for today. But we're getting a little bit of one-on-one -on -one time. Kind of like, is it a date? Oh, it's one of those things where it's like, oh, is it a date? Is it not a date? You don't know what to call it. One person thinks it's a date. One person thinks it's not a date. Who knows? But this could lead to some really, really good things. So not at all what I was planning for this part. But that's fine, Amber's letting us know what she wants. And what she wants is, of course, obviously, Alex over here. Go and tell him a funny story. Share a secret with him. Why not? We need to really um, get this relationship going. Actually, we are not doing too bad. We are just a friend, which is good. Um, let's see. Complain about parents, why not? You're not in a terrible mood. This is unheard of for her. Usually she is in an absolutely horrific mood. Um, Jeffrey, um, are you following us? <gasps> he is 100% following us. He's like, no, 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 I just go to all the stalls all the time and try and get all the food. Isn't he, um, I can't remember what his career is. He's not a secret agent, is it? It's Nancy that's a secret agent and he's does something like bust the crime or something like that. He's something like that. He is onto our tail. Oh, we need to keep an eye on Jeffrey. Look at him. He's being such a stalker right now. He is like lingering just around the corner. So he thinks that Amber can't see him. We see you, Jeffrey Langrab. We see you. <laughs> Ask to swing with. Can you? Yeah. Oh my God. No. Dayton's here. That is bad. That is our mum's new thang, her husband. Um, and we do not get on with him as you would have seen. I didn't click Dayton, did I? No. Let's get to know him. And we'll tell an engaging story and uh, d -d 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 brighten his day. Like, we're, we really need to find an in with him. Like, I think we're doing quite well, though. She is feeling pretty good. For someone that's just had all of our appliances taken away from her and had a major downgrade. Whoa, 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 where's he going? Oh, he needs to pee. Oh. Wait, was he just sick? Oh my god, what? What? Um, okay. Wait, no, hold on a minute. What was that? Is that something that happens when you swing? I don't understand. All right, something's going on there. Who is this person? Hello, who are you? I'm, who are you? Oh, she's giving us a side eye. Can you go and sit with him, please? Just became good friends, see? Oh no, you're coming back over here. Okay, no, don't go and s no, oh, for God's sake. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. And now they're confused, they're like, where, where did you want us to go? I'm really confused as to why he just went and threw up everywhere. Like, is he okay? Is he not okay? What's going on? I'm concerned. I'm very, very concerned. <laughs> Let's discuss our interests with him and talk about warm temperature and flatter him. Where are you going? Where are you going? Are you gonna throw up again? If he throws up again, I'm gonna have some serious questions for this guy. Where is he going? Is he going to fish? What? <laughs> okay. I mean, we need fish, so sure, but why? Is that what, is it because she talked about fishing? Surely that wouldn't make him go and fish. I'm so confused. This boy, what is going on? Like he goes and throws up and then in the middle of a conversation, he just walks off and starts fishing, acting like it's the most normal thing in the world. 
What is going on? This guy, he is as problematic and as unpredictable as Amber is. And I mean, it's probably a good thing, to be fair. I mean, at least they've got something in common. Is he going to leave as soon as this ends? It'd be very sad if he's just like, well, the event's over. Bye. I'm going to go now. Look at them. Oh, that's so cute as well. Like, couples are fish together, am I right? <laughs> Am I right? I'm not right. I wouldn't want to go fishing with a date or with somebody that I was interested in. Unless they were like a serious fishing buff and I was just desperately trying to have something in common with them. But at that point, if you are having to kind of like fake things that you're interested in in order to have things in common with people, then probably not worth it, is it? It's really not, not really going to lead to a good thing, is it? I'm just selling frogs. You know, the usual. So he's not gone away, but he, and he wasn't like, oh, this has been nice. No. Okay, so I'm assuming that this is good. I mean, do we try and be a little bit romantic? I don't feel like this is a very romantic scene. Oh, what do we get? What do we get? We haven't caught an actual fish yet. Like, we're not looking very good at this. He's like, we've been raving about fishing. Oh, we got a digital camera. Oh, okay, that means we have to get a photo of us together. Take photo with him. Where are you going? <laughs> Do not leave. If Kaylee's here, she like obviously heard that Alex was going to meet with, with Amber and was like, um, yeah, no, I'm busy. But then she comes and she just comes to spy on and see how it's going. Oh, they're so cute. They are so cute together. Okay. Okay, well, you're not both in it really, are you? But I mean, there's a lot of dead space in the middle, but I guess we will just go with it. We'll put those on the wall when we get home. That's really cute. Does she gain a skill from that as well? Does she get the photography skill? I don't know. Oh my God, cloud gaze together. Wait, <laughs> why is this the cutest thing? Where are you going? This boy, what is so important? Where are you trying to go? You invited us out, thank you very much. Cloud gaze with me, Alex. In between these random people's houses. I bet they're like, why are these teens? Why are they just chilling outside my house? Apparently it is the place to cloud gaze. Oh, is he stanky as well? Or did he just fart? I don't know. Oh, they're adorable. I'm glad this has happened. Oh my God, look at our relationship bar as well. We could flirt a little bit. And then if he doesn't ask us out after that, then we'll take it as, you know, he's not interested. And if he messages us after, you know, we've kind of said, you know, we're a little bit interested. If he asks us to go out on a date, then we know that he's interested. But you know, you have to try these things, don't you? He's bringing out the best in her. She's not had, can we just appreciate the fact that she has not had a bad mood like the whole time she's been with him. I think that speaks for something. She is a girl who always, always has a terrible mood like She's always tense. I, always, I, I know she's a runaway teen. I know she's gonna have these moodlets, but he is clearly bringing out the best in her. So I think we should, um, you know what we should do actually? We should ask if he's single first. Um, I'm I'm a hundred percent sure he is, unless you know someone's been being a little bit snaky. Oh my god! What if Nadine likes him? I hadn't even thought of that. So Nadine is the other girl in the household, and we're just finding it really difficult to get on with her. What if she likes him? That would make sense. Um, hello, my neighbour says the romance festival is the great place to meet people. What is going on? Okay, everybody's talking about romance, and then. Alex, is, is it the romance festival today? Wait, is it the romance festival today? Let's go to the romance festival. We need to go with him. Um, it is 6.15 p.m. Oh my God, we could go get some food there. She is stanky though. We'll do this. We're asking if he's single. Um, he is single. Good, thought so. Um, and let's reveal crush. And then, oh no. Oh no. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. What we'll do, we'll go home, we'll have a shower, and then we will go to the romance festival. We've made these plans. We can get her out of the embarrassed moodlet. It's fine. Um, we will head home and then we will go. Um, do you wanna come with us? No, we'll invite you back out in a minute, Alex. We're gonna go home, we're gonna have a shower. Maybe we'll get something from the vendor or we can get something from the vendor at the romance festival. I'm not sure how long the romance festival goes on for. Um, but come and take a shower, girl, so you do not stink the place up. Like, there's, you can't be romancing someone while you smell like that. Like, that's just not the way to go about things. We're not about it. It's not what you want. Yes, so I will see you guys back at the Romance Festival in a minute. Hello, everybody. We are back at the Romance Festival. All that happened is she had a shower. He obviously needs to pee, so I'm assuming he'll run off and do that. I'm not sure how long we have of this. I don't know. <laughs> 
<laughs> when the festivals end. I'm hoping that there will be a stall that we can get some food. Oh, I don't want to buy swag. I want to buy food. Sometimes it takes a while for everything to open. Does she have chips? Order food. Okay, good. Um, we can get some, get some french fries and then we will pour some tea together. I hope that he has gone to pee. He's getting it without us. He doesn't care. Like he knows he, he desperately needs the toilet, but he's willing to become flirty <laughs> first. Um, we need some food though. We can't, we can't be getting our flirt on um, when we're hungry, especially with this guy um, that we do really like. I'm not sure about the trouser situation. Oh, he just peed himself. Oh my God, he peed himself on our date. Uh, awkward. Um, I, don't, I don't know what he's doing. Um, but we have had some chips. He is really stinky still. And I don't know what's going to happen. Um, I mean, I'm not letting this get in the way. Um, so, boom. <laughs> Just don't tell anybody, it's fine. This might be a hella long part, by the way, as well. I have no clue. I'm going to have to do some chopping around and editing. Uh, I have no clue, but I'm not letting this go to waste. We need this. Also, like... Do we start getting like a little romance going and then talk to the romance guru? Um, see what she says about us and Alex. Oh, he's over here. Is he cleaning up? Okay, I understand that you're being a good person and cleaning up and or whatever you're doing, but can you come over here please? Because look, we've got this whole pink aura going for you and you're not even here. Um, I can't be chatting with a young adult. Let's go here together. Um, you need to leave. Um, you can't be at our table. Thank you very much. I need to change up his outfits because, I mean, I got him off the gallery, so he's literally just in his CCs. Uh, CCs, sorry. He's literally just in the stuff that whoever made him put him in, but I'm not for these trousers. Oh, Let's, we, we tried to reveal our crush last time and maybe, I think we just weren't direct enough about it. I think he thought we weren't talking about him and then he got annoyed, but you know, now we're making it very clear that we were talking about him. So maybe it will go off well. Let's joke about getting together. Gossip about the tea effects. Oh, maybe describe a flirty dream about Alex. This is going much better than the flirting went earlier. I'm just saying like those are pluses next to hearts I'm seeing right there. Um, so this, this is a good sign. This is him, you know, he is obviously down for, for this. Um, we don't want to do too much though. Um, we would like to just kind of lay it down so he knows we're interested. Um, maybe we could attempt to seduce? Question <gasps> mark. Okay. We officially has a bar. I'm not going to select any more flirty interactions. I'm going to let him do them with us. Um, and we'll see if he reciprocates what we've been laying down. Also, it is super late. She needs to pee and she's tired. So we will be wrapping this up in a bit. Oh, he's complimenting us. Oh, okay. Interesting, interesting. It's a suggestive conversation. He is blowing us a kiss. This is moving fast. Also, we are both, you know, a little bit tipsy from the tea. So is it the tea that's talking? Is the feelings there or not? Like what is going on? Oh, we're in the same conversation with Alex. If this is this is bad moods, this is so awkward if she says like something bad. Because we're in a joint conversation right now. Okay, we're talking with our partner. Partner, oh my god, I'm jumping the gun. Please don't say anything bad, that'll be so embarrassing. I'm nervous. Okay, roses, roses. Oh dear. I, I mean, it could be like fiery passion. Rations show a tall, dark stranger in your near future. I mean... I don't know about much taller than us, but those are dark hair, dark eyes, if I may say so myself. On that very, very positive note, I'm going to wrap this episode up right here. So thank you so, so much for watching. Um, this was a really enjoyable part. We've got some romance on the horizon, how exciting. Um, if you enjoyed, please do leave a comment down below. Let me know, it helps me out a whole bunch. Consider subscribing if you liked it. And if you want more videos as well, obviously you get notified every single time I upload if you ring that notification bell and subscribe. Um, have a lovely, lovely day, you guys. And I will speak to you all in the next one. Bye guys.